So imagine you get washed up on some random island, and the only way to survive was to break things with your fist. Because then eventually you can make a whole bunch of fun little tools and start getting even better things. Get enough stuff, you can eventually make an iron furnace and start smelting a whole bunch of ingots on in. So while all those smelt, I'm just gonna mass click a whole bunch of rocks. Oh, my poor, poor forearm. I'm so sorry. I found by just double clicking my mouse, for some reason it lets me break things at like Mach 10. So I figured why not just get 500 stone and then 500 wood. With this, I can make things like 10 pickaxes, 10 axes, or well, five of them. Oh, and I'm using my axe to chop that down much faster. Wow. Array for efficiency, I guess. Let's go ahead and get one mine down on one of my iron pieces. Looks like this just uses my pickaxes that I made excess of to then crank me out some random resource. Maybe I need to get one of those for my woodcutter too. This means I'm gonna need a crap ton of stone. Rock and stone, rock and stone. It never seems to end. Although just chopping a bunch of trees down, I got 700 wood. I think it said I needed like six axes, so that should work. Now place me a nice little woodcutter right here. And now while I'm doing all this stuff, just clicking everything, let me tell you a little bit about today's sponsor. A huge thank you to the team over at Memory Fragment for actually sponsoring today's video. In this game, you're tasked with repairing various items from cameras, toys, gaming consoles, or even brick pianos. And you're given a wide array of tools to do so, such as a screwdriver, a spanner, some adhesive. Also, you can find what's actually broken or malfunctioning and then just give it a little fix. As in the game setting, you play as Royd. He's a small town handyman who grew up in a repair shop with his grandpa. So not only did you pick up a thing or two, but you also ended up stumbling across an old photo album. And so every time you complete a repair, you actually fill in a piece of that photo album, slowly working your way towards filling it up. And our memory fragment actually uses simple puzzles rather than complex and difficult repair tasks, allowing it to be more of a casual gaming experience where you just kind of have to complete a couple fun mini games to actually complete your repair task. I highly recommend you check this game out. It's fun, it's cute, with some really enjoyable music. There is a link in the description down below that you're able to click. It'll take you right to where you need to be. And who knows, maybe by playing, you might actually remember something about yourself too. I've also done at least a few quests. Craft one pickaxe, craft one axe. That's actually extremely simple. Thank you, that gives me 10 gold. How do I find new islands exactly? Oh, Hi. craft a shovel and dig for chests on empty ground, I see. So what do I need for a shovel? 280 wood, 30 rope, and 120. 20 iron. Well, that's gonna be a little miss tough. See now, isn't it? Start punching these plant fibers. Just a little bit at 321 means I can craft 16 rope. Not nearly enough. Also, mine the crap out of this coal real quick, too. And now I'll make as many as I can. That's 32. Yes. Well, that's one aspect done. Getting the iron seems like it might take me a second. I wonder if I just keep logging all these trees. I'm just stacking wood. Now I can make a second iron furnace because that's also part of my quest. And there's another random quest I I did. Maybe I should focus on just doing quest for a second and craft a scythe, which was whatever that was. Rope delivery. I don't want to deliver my ropes anywhere, but maybe I won't have to. Ooh, my second iron furnace is done too, so I'll start smelting these guys in. Now I need to do a lot of work on these shrubs. Just get busted if you don't mind. But what I was thinking was that my food is going low, but I might be able to get a fishing dock here soon. I just need to make six fishing rods, which means I still need, you know, a lot more rope, but only nine more after I broke all these things a whole bunch. Who knew manual labor could be so rough? But is that enough? Yes, it's exactly 60. Make me my six fishing rods. And I'm a bunch of wood short for my fishing dock. Fun, I have the power of unlimited clicking on my side. I think I just need a little bit under 500. Perfect. We'll plop the fishing dock down right there. Also, I have two of these little curse thingies. That should mean that I can upgrade my mining speed once and my smelter once. All right, get this field down as well. I should hopefully help grow me more food because I'm getting dangerously low in that department. And now I have a quest to make a bucket. So I made a bucket. I can fill this bucket with water. I can then use that water to grow resources back faster. So that's a nice little system. Take that. Oh, I got another guy. Boo-hoo, people are hungry. Me too, game. Did we ever think about that? That was a lot of wheat that I just got there. And wow, I can pretty much instantly regrow this and put it back. Idea. Need a crap ton of stone here, which is luckily simple enough to get people are hungry. Yes, I am aware. You've only given me the pop-up nine times in the last two seconds. I wish I could hear it one more time, though. Maybe that would help. Oh, there it is. All right. Smack my bakery down out of the way. 
way over here. Let's start working on bread, huh? Auto bread maker going. I've got the fishing dock going. One would hope people can eat fine now. Another quest complete. Ooh, 50 gold. Can I use that gold for anything? Oh, I can increase the speed of my bakery. That'd be nice. I'm just going to fill my water bucket up and then immediately burn it on my one wheat farm I've got. And by doing that, I can just combine a bunch more wheat in this thing. So it should pretty much never run out now. Now I've got 800 stone, just shy of 600 wood. Actually, 600 wood. Make as many pickaxes as I can, please. Because I realize if I just beat the crap out of coal here for a bit, it doesn't ever really seem to like run out. 400 of it should do nicely. Let's dump 200 in this side, 200 in this side, and then start the same with iron. 200 in there, 201 in there. That should start to be a decent amount of materials. Actually, I'm beating the crap out of more iron too. <laughs> Look at all this coal popping out. Anyways, I can make two more iron furnaces. So at least I can start smelting even more iron down now. Who'd have guessed that I'd need a lot of it? All right, craft a bunch of rope. It's my quest. I need to make one fishing rod. Done, please. And surprise, surprise, need even more rope. Although at 42 rope and nearing 500 wood, I just am waiting on my iron pretty much to get my new shovel. So let's just leave my pickaxes mining some coal and I'm gonna go get me a little drink. One hour later. Looks like one of my cats hit my mouse, so I started mining stone. I guess it's cool that I've got 4,000 of that now though. Either way, I can make myself a nice little shovel and do I just click around? Oh, I see. I just need to keep trying to dig up the open spaces. Oh, I found a treasure chest. Punch it, punch it open. 54 iron, a map and some coal. Sweet, keep punching. Oh wow, back to back. More iron, more rocks and another map. Okay, just let me find one more. Yes, please be a map in here somewhere. <laughs> And I just kept mining until I ran out. Oh, I found a person. A person in the treasure chest? All right. I'll, yeah, sure. Anyways, I can head to a new island now. So I'm going to go where this little ore thing is up here. And I found more people on this island too. So I've got six spare people to do my bidding now. In that case, make a bunch of axes. Because I want to make a couple more wood cutters. This way it'll just be on its own little timer. And I've got enough gold too. I can increase my fishing dock. Now I'm not too sure if there's going to be anything different. But I can make this brick furnace so i might as well give it a go well i see there's clearly something in there but what it is no idea let's also speed up this woodcutter speed here now i want to try and make a bunch of fishing rods because i'm running low on food again so i want to make some more fishing docks i also didn't realize that just by having a fishing pole in my inventory i was able to just fish up like 47 of them and so now i'm able to make my sixth fishing rod and if i just get a bunch of wood i can make my second dock let's just smack you down there now that should help with everything Oh, I wonder, can I go over to Dark Helm and just use my one fishing rod to get as many of these fishes as I can? Really would be a great food source and I kind of needed it for a quest. So that makes you done. Oh, gave me another person. See here, now I want to get another mine down, but this time on my coal. So that makes another quest <laughs> completed. And the next one also was done. Oh, three more people. My whole automation factory is coming along quite nicely, but my main issue is I just ran out of food so much. Also, because I have enough souls, I can add an extra worker to this. So I'm curious, instead of getting one wood every time this bar completes. Do I get two now? From 272 to 275. Oh, well, isn't that handy? Chop all that wood. Because now I can finally build this farm, which looks like it'll just auto give me wheat. Although my next quest is for me to collect a bunch of wheat. So I'll just regrow my own food like the men of old. This whole farming thing's tough. Some of these quests though, I've just already done, which is nice. But now I kind of can't help but wonder if I just get a bunch of wood here, make a bunch of axes. If I head over to the Dark Helm, Oh, these trees give me two wood per chop on them. This is kind of exactly what I was looking for. Because then if I make up some more and put another wood cutter down here, I assume that's going to be twice as efficient as my others. So now I think I'll just let all of these run for a while. And we can come back and see how many resources I actually have ended up with. Eventually. So my workers have been busy, but clearly not that busy. I did get enough stuff though where I can make another forester guy. And if I just manually click for a bit, I should make that same like 450 wood that I had almost instantaneously. We shouldn't. Let's me make another. Do I have the food for all this? I don't know. Probably not. But at least now I'm going to have the resources for it. And screw it. Let's get one more forester down. It looks like I was able to get a bunch of wheat too. Thanks to my nice handy dandy little farm here. So I didn't even realize. But now I've got a baker who's about to make me 259 pieces of bread. I'm thinking that might solve my food issue pretty much immediately. Also, this guy's axe right now. There you go, buddy. Tell you what. Let's actually just break a bunch more logs. So I can make as many axes as I can. This way I can supply at least most of these guys with a backup. Would hate to not have any hard workers. But also now that I've done those changes, <laughs> let's just leave it for like a week and see what happens. 